everybody, my name is Richard Aragon. I'm a really small YouTuber. If you take a look at the numbers here, I am so close to passing 200 subscribers. I just wanted to make this video for you guys because I'm really hoping to pass this goal. I am so very close and then I think very soon, probably in the next video, I'm going to surpass this by a little bit. Let's take a look and find my it. My name is Richard Aragon. I've been a YouTuber for about a month now and I have 230 subscribers. I just wanted to make a video to showcase to you guys. Hey guys, my name's Richard Aragon. I'm a really small YouTuber. I've only been at this for about a month now, but I wanted to show you guys because I had this one video that just totally took off and went viral. So if you take a look at my videos here, what you can see is my view counts are really low on most of my videos because I'm really new at this. But if you take a look specifically at this video right here, a thousand views in just a couple of days. I just uploaded this video. It went completely viral compared to all of the rest. Let me show you guys exactly what I did to make this video go viral. My name is Richard Aragon. I'm a really small YouTuber. I've only been at this for a few weeks, but if you look at these numbers, look, I've gained 724 subscribers in only a week. Stay tuned to this video and I'll show you exactly how. Hey everybody. So I shot all of those videos back to back to back using the same exact account. There were no fluctuations in the numbers, nothing changed uh, in between the filming of each one of those videos. But I wanted to open with that video to show you and showcase just exactly how easy it is to represent YouTube numbers in multiple different ways. And so with this video, what I want to get into is a few different components. The very first thing I'm going to show you guys is exactly what I purchased and go into detail there. Second thing that I'm going to go into in this video is the short term results of what I purchased and we'll analyze and take a look there. And then the third thing that we'll do is take a look at the long term results and uh, take a look at some of this data over time since it's had some time to settle and show you uh, exactly kind of what the picture and the trend looks like if you pay for traffic uh, and why you shouldn't pay for traffic and why there are really no shortcuts when it comes to the use. Before I get into the analysis of uh, exactly what I purchased, I thought it would be a good idea to start here because this is uh, exactly where I started. And so this is the YouTube page of the very first YouTube follower that I ever had. And you can see the, na the name doesn't matter and what the content is doesn't matter. Uh, and there's two reasons for that. The first reason is is that the, well, the reasons are, are that the name constantly changes and the content constantly changes. So as you can see right now, it's Logan and Fortnite and they're advertising Fortnite content, but I've seen it advertise Call of Duty content, uh, how to on YouTube, like how to grow YouTube and like uh, those types of videos, which is actually how I initially found this channel because that's initially what it was branded. But what you can see is if you look at the view counts for these videos, they're just like astronomical view counts and the account has the subscriber count hidden now, but it's like 200K subscribers. So I've known that there's something fishy about this account and you look at it, it's like pretty blank except for the videos. And they always get scrubbed. Like, uh, you look at the videos, it's always like a week ago, but uh, let's see. Yeah, see? But there, it, it, like, uh, I've been following this channel. This channel has been following me for two months. It makes videos every day, uh, but it scrubs them. And, but all the videos get tons of views. And so this, like, kind of made me go down the rabbit hole and made me think like okay maybe how exactly is this uh this person getting uh these view counts and and the subscriber count for their channel and so i wanted to see and test maybe they're paying for it so that's kind of uh what what started me on that journey so with that being said let's go ahead and hop over to fiverr and i'm going to show you guys exactly what I purchased for this video uh, and what I'll be going over as far as uh, analyzing this data. So I 
made five different purchases, but from four different people. Uh, I purchased from this person twice, and the reason why was I initially purchased five a uh, five dollar uh, video, like a five dollar uh, fiver from them, but. I had purchased like 15 to 20 for all the rest, so I wanted to make it even. So I, I purchased a 5 and a 15 from them, uh, and then everyone else got either 15 or $20. Um, and then I just wanted to see exactly what the results would be. Uh, they all kind of advertised that they would do kind of different things. I just, you know, went to Fiverr, typed in YouTube, uh, and then just went through the search results here. Uh, and then, you know, picked them out randomly. I did kind of go through the reviews and uh, search the reviews, made sure that they had positive reviews and, and, and did all of that. So I, I kind of did, uh, you know, what I could there. Uh, and so with that, uh, let's go ahead and dive into the short term results uh, as to uh, exactly what I got for my purchases. So, diving into the results here, the very first graph that I want to look at is this one. I think it gives a good baseline. And so this is views by video as the primary metric and subscribers by video as the secondary metric. Now I started all of this experimentation here on April 29th and you can see that that clearly shows in the graph. Like you can clearly see in the graph where I started this. And so before diving into that, I want to dive into this initial data. And then so I want to use this as baseline data because it's a lot of good data. And so if we add all of these up through all of these days, and I've already done this, you add up, it essentially comes out really nice. It comes out to 300 views and six subscribers which comes out to a 2% view to subscriber rate, which is around what I would expect. That's uh, around what everyone says. So 2% of people that watch my videos end up subscribing. Uh, and that's kind of like the, the good baseline there. And then so you'll see I paid for, uh, started paying on April 29th. And then so we can see that my views and my, but my subscribers jump substantially. So we see, you know, views, views, and then bam, 89 views, 45 subscribers. Out of 89 people that viewed my video on that day, 45 of them subscribed, almost 50%. That person is incredible uh, as far as the marketing that they can pull off. Same thing here, you can see that their, their numbers are getting a little bit worse, but still astronomical. Again, all the way across the board, if we compare these numbers, the, the views to subscribers, our baseline is 3%, is 2%. And so uh, these numbers are astronomically higher than 2%. And then I, I wanna stay away from this because I want to just show you the, the short-term impact. So. If we weren't to look at uh, this graph in, in this way, if we were just to, you know, like, all right, we paid this person. It's April. Tw it's April 30th. Uh, it's, let's let's go here, like uh, May 2nd. You know, May May 2nd, May 3rd. We're gonna give them like uh, the the best case scenario. We paid them on April 29th. They did this, and they did exactly what they said that they would do. They 45 subscribers that day. 28, 33, 38. 60 boom subscriber counts are just going off of the charts they're 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 popping off subscribers every single day uh it's a a two-day ad so essentially uh you pay them on fiverr they do this for two days and then you pay them so if we paid them on april 29th and then we look at it on you know may 2nd may 3rd fantastic performance uh we're going to give these people all of our money excellent a plus review Thank you for exactly what you did. Wonderful job. And then now you know exactly how all of those reviews, all of those five-star reviews that you're seeing on these fibers uh, when you go through this, that's how they get them. If you look at these numbers just purely from the perspective of exactly when they say that they're going to deliver, they do deliver what they say that they're going to deliver. They increase your views and they increase your subscribers. But if you look at these subscribers and you just analyze this data, there, there's something really fishy about those subscriber numbers, that view to subscriber numbers. 
let's go ahead and 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 take a look at this as well this is another chart uh subscribers gained by video is the primary metric and then impressions by video and then so you can see uh, here again just lots of impressions tons of impressions and then impressions don't don't actually get you like uh, as far as this baseline data we're not getting any subscribers from impressions like it's it's real low baseline data and then we look at at uh, starting on April 29th and then all of a sudden these this just from pure impression data just from someone seeing the videos all of a sudden your your subscriber rate just jumps astronomically uh, just from impressions and so uh, either they're a marketing these people are marketing geniuses and and pulling off things that no one else can do or there's something fishy with these numbers and so uh, with that in mind let's go ahead and and move into the next segment of this video which is examining these numbers on a longer term trend so now we've examined the short term trend what we've shown is that if we do subscribe to this if we pay these people on Fiverr we, we go through and we do these different tactics that in the short term it's going to pay off we can show numbers would be very happy with the performance we could make marketing videos we could post all about our huge subscriber gains uh, look at this 725 subscribers look everybody 3400 impressions these are massive numbers uh, my, I just started my channel a month ago uh, to, uh, up until a week ago I had six subscribers uh, look at these numbers guys so let's go ahead and and, and now shift into the the long term so to dive into the long-term impact of all of this I wanted to dive into a few different charts and the first one that I want to look at is this one which is subscribers lost by video and then uh, looking at subscribers by video as the secondary metric and then so as you can see for our baseline uh, if we take a look just scrolling through here uh, you know just really trudging along like really not getting subscribers but uh, uh, you know it, it just slowly <laughs> and uh, there I lose a subscriber uh, and but I gain one the same day and then so April 20 then we come to April 29th and then this is the like literal definition of a Ponzi scheme like if you want to see how a Ponzi scheme works this is how it works so uh, you can see the very first day I gain 45 subscribers but already within that first day I lose almost half of them so like they subscribe but then immediately unsubscribe and then so this person has to play a game where essentially they have to outperform that that um, loss rate for a few days and then so they, they totally do that uh, they so you can see second day it's looking not too good for them uh it all just falls off uh subscribers lost 59 compared to 28 so uh they're not like they're not coming out even uh and then the next day you can see same thing they're, they're bleeding uh but then they they pick it up major and then you know start start putting in effort but you can see the the bleeding is uh is starting but they're they're keeping it up because of subscribers as long as they can keep that that subscriber count pumping up uh, then it doesn't really matter and then so you can see that brings us to May 3rd and then so from April 29th to May 3rd you can see that that's they're performing exactly as expected uh, so then we pay them their money we're happy everything is all good uh, we probably paid them on May 2nd uh, so May 3rd we take a look yeah they're still performing everything is good so it's a, a day's past you know we're not going to do anything as far as a review now anything like that now May 4th boom everything starts falling off a cliff no new subscribers I stopped paying these people uh, for the for this period Wow like look at that a subscriber is lost and then I'm just bleeding subscribers just straight bleeding them uh, same thing here Wow just bleeding all of it is gone in in a matter of less than a week all of this effort everything that was put in literally all of it just disappears instantaneously boom the kind of last thing that I wanted to highlight on these charts specifically looking at the the YouTube charts and this data is 
uh, looking at the the bottom data here and then let's I want to draw specific attention to this one this update on the airplane lot this is one of the uh, ones that I paid fifteen dollars for for them to promote on Fiverr and so you can see that it uh, subscribers gained 170 very nice yeah it's uh, my top performing subscribers gained so this person that I paid fifteen dollars for they got me more subscribers than any of my other videos uh, but the interesting thing then so I want you to take a look so subscribers 170 views 132 uh, which means that this video has gotten me more subscribers than people that have watched it people that have not even watched this video spontaneously subscribed simply because I made it uh, so that is pretty fishy there uh, and then we we take a look at the the watch time and uh, dive deeper into that and all of the metrics associated with this video and it paints a very bad picture audience retention 32 seconds out of a six minute video all these people loving and liking this video and watching it and subscribing simply because I make it but they watch it for 32 seconds and, and so yeah you can see all of the uh, external traffic it's uh, uh, they're promoting it that uh, they were promoting it and so yeah uh, I don't know how they got these subscribers where the subscribers come from but that's pretty crazy to to from a marketing perspective uh, hats off to them to be able to gain more subscribers than people that actually watch the video just wow like how did like uh, anybody that's involved in marketing if you can do this I, I will pay you unlimited amounts of money if you can show me how to do this like uh, on a consistent basis uh, this is amazing so before I end the video, I just wanted to make one last segment here and show you guys uh, kind of how you can utilize this data and, and what I've put together here to get kind of like a, a clear picture and, and kind of use it to see if someone is um, uh, like utilizing paid uh, data uh, or, or paid techniques as opposed to like uh, viral techniques. And then so I, I think that the simplest way to do this is so I have here kind of uh, four different examples of viral video trends. And then what we'll see when we look at these graphs is they all look like this, like this same uh, like line. And so this one is just a uh, hourly views of Taylor, one of Taylor Swift's videos. And you can see a uh, video gets released massive climb to where it peaks and then you have like a very steep drop off and then you've got like some kind of peaks and valleys and then that's kind of what it what it looks like and then let's go to the next one same thing so you've got uh your videos released it's doing okay doing okay starts to to get traction something big happens makes it go viral boom you have the massive increase you have the peak uh, and then a massive crash from the peak and then you've got you know like peaks and valleys that that come from that looks like you know really the same these look all, 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 really close and then let's look at this one same thing Chewbacca mask video video gets released instant boom spike big drop off peaks and valleys let's look at one more example the Gangnam uh, style video and then so this is over weeks and then you can see the same thing same trend so I think this is cool because so this is hourly compared to weekly and then you've got in between and then so no matter how you break down this specific trend something goes viral if you break down the trend lines this is what you're seeing as far as trends really similar trends so now let's compare a trend line like this compared to the trend lines that happened with my videos and so uh, you can see here pretty clear uh, April 29th we've got like that massive spike so it would look and mirror at this point exactly like what you would see from a viral video where you have that that massive uptick and then you've got 
kind of this downtick, and then you've got this, this massive crash. But the difference here is just a massive crash down to absolute zero. So uh, it goes do peak uh, and then crash. Nothing, there's no like uh, peaks. This, I start paying again here. Um, and then so uh, we can, the, the data is kind of skewed with, with that. But this trend line is, is really what I want to focus on here. And then I've got a really good example that I thought that I would show. So on Reddit yesterday, someone posted uh, a post about how their video had gone viral. Uh, and then I thought it was interesting because they posted this trend. Uh, and if you look at this trend line, it matches my trend line, this trend line, this and this match. Neither one of these match this trend line or these trend lines and the big difference and I'll, I'll highlight it on this because it's cleaner the big difference is is what you see is on any of these trend lines you never see a dip to zero you see a crash massive crash for sure and then some peaks and valleys right like ups and downs dips but no just absolute flat crash to zero like that's the the big indicator to be looking for uh, and that's exactly what you see on this uh, trend line and, and this graph. And then what you do also uh, is missing here is that the more like this, the direct spike, the direct spike, anytime every single one of these vir viral examples has that direct spike. Uh, and mine here have the direct spikes as well, but you can see it's much more bendy. Uh, and then I, I, I wish I, I'm going to get more examples and I want to uh, examine this part of the trend more but you can see that it's not like there is the every single one there is this this that is the the trend not this and not especially not this not the dip down to zero uh, that's the big indicator there so I uh, just wanted to point this out for you guys I uh, hope it's helpful and and hope this is helpful. Uh, last segment on this video I just wanted to showcase this imager page that I created and I'll leave a link to this imager page on the description in the description of the video but essentially it just is kind of what I think are good indicators of bot traffic if you ever want to uh, question anyone or look at an account or uh, dive deep into metrics uh, these are kind of what I've come up with as to like what exactly what I would look at and look for as far as good key indicators that someone has uh, bought their traffic uh, rather than like having it go viral or anything else so uh, the first one is is geography uh, if you look at like the geography on on the video views and and you see Lots of like uh, Indonesia, India, Egypt, Morocco, I mean, just an uh, indication of uh, bot traffic. Uh, second one is traffic source graph. If you see a lot of it coming from external sources, uh, external, like generally, so like if a video goes viral, uh, then, and even if it goes viral on an external site, the YouTube algorithm is going to pick up on that and it's going to bump up the metrics kind of proportionally for. Uh, how the video performs in YouTube as well but if if it's just being straight pumped from like um, you know someone like spamming the link or or however they're they're a like for like or whatever they're doing to get that traffic then you're gonna see extremely disproportional amount of external traffic uh, next image I just wanted to showcase this and highlight this for you guys so if you go to uh, the advanced settings in the analytics section section of YouTube uh, you get access to tons of metrics and that's that's where I'm going for all of these metrics I'm, I'm pulling it and if you click on the different tabs so like video traffic source geography you get different metrics so you can pull up all kinds of metrics uh, I just wanted to highlight that this is a big one subscribers lost so uh, if you're gaining traffic through organic means and, and people aren't like naturally liking and, and subscribing to your content people aren't gonna like uh, like and subscribe to your your channel and then instantaneously 30 minutes later decide that they don't like it anymore uh, and then so if you see mass suddenly like mass unsubscribes then that's a, a really good indicator there 
and this one I want to highlight specifically so like subscribers gained compared to the actual subscribers on the channel page and uh, again just highlighting and, and calling it out on my page specifically now that I've gone through this exercise so uh, in this last week if you look at my subscribers gained you'll see uh, like 724 but I only have 228 maybe it's gone down uh, as of filming this video so uh, you can see like just that massive delta there uh, and there's only uh, one one way to really account for that uh, and then the last one uh, kind of just a really big indicator just massive red flag uh, is videos that have more subscribers than views if you see that yep there it is so uh, overall I hope this has been helpful for you guys hope you guys have found this content useful I hope you don't pay for content there's no shortcuts uh, uh, pay for subscribers pay for views uh, any of it so I've gone through all of these different providers I wouldn't recommend a single one of them not a single one of them has benefited me in the long term as far as any sort of traffic in the short term if I wanted to make videos and spam like marketing type of videos this might be a good route to take but other than that I really don't see why you would want to purchase like purchase uh, views and purchase subscribers that are just going to disappear uh, Thanks, guys.